Tonight, 37-year-old Hosto Augustin is without a roof over his head after he allegedly set fire to his home. Just after 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon, a blaze broke out on Balance Street. Augustin, who is believed to be mentally challenged, says that within a matter of minutes, the home went up in smoke. My house burned down yesterday. One time I packed up a smiley brother for me and I just walk off. Because when I come up back, I'm going for my bike. I'm trying up my bike missing. Right? And when I go back inside, and I come up back, I said the source to catch fire, I catch fire, and I come outside. Come outside, run up on the street, because the house is on fire. Augustine's father, Theodore, says that he was a stone's throws away when he heard two loud explosions and rushed home. Coming back now, I don't get the tool now, for this man I actually get the tool. So I stand up again by Jenkins again, that's why I said no, I'll buy my cigarette and I'll come to work now. Bam, while I stand up that Jenkins, we hear boom from over here. Later on, after that second boom, all right, when the first boom, my neighbor from over there said, Mr. Twin, Twin said, Mr. Teddy, your house the bond down. I tell her impossible. Anyway, I can't run the back here. When I run the back here, I can't hear the run cover from back here. Going out there. So I ask her, what happened? He said, my house catch fire. I tell her, how the f your house catch fire, host? Uh, it looked for me like as the door, uh, like, it's, like I, I, I had a problem. The elder Augustine and several neighbors banded together and with the help of the fire department, were able to stop the flames from fanning out but not before the wooden structure and all its contents were completely destroyed. Station supervisor at the National Fire Service, Kenneth Mortez, explained that Augustine is believed to have set the fire while having a mental episode. What we learned was that fuel in excess of 10, 15, 20 gallons was being stored in this house. Um, we established that the building didn't have any electricity um, this was one that even wasn't being supplied at one. His primary, his primary uh, means of light was by that of a candle. Unfortunately, because it is alleged that he's a mentally challenged individual, neighbors are wrong saying that he's been having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with himself. While in this structure, he was playing with something, a lighter, a candle, and neighbors reportedly heard a bang before smoke and flames was observed. It was an incendiary cause, not one of a malicious intent, one more of a negligent. Um, so we classify that as negligent use of an open flames. While no one was injured during the blaze, Augustine's father says that the tragic incident could have been avoided. According to him, for several months he has been trying to get help for his son, but his efforts have been fruitless. Man, like, do a series of crap back there. So, in fact, the idea that, that why this house may look for burn that he make a, make a fire back there, the idea that the reason I put them zig there for now, for, for now brother, because this man, the light of fire, my house nearly catch fire. And now, because hurricane don't mess up my house, no, the man look for burn no, my house, but hmm? so anyway, I say, okay, no problem. I can't I come out and attack to tell a host of your need for a start to get up to get stop the doing nonsense car. Yeah, car sweep and long around. Forgive me, sir, for asking, but is your son mentally challenged? I think, my brother, this man got a serious mental problem. That's why I ask for help from time to time. Even, even from the um, very human development, I can't even promise that they may help me, this man. You know. uh, so far, nothing, but I pray to God that something will happen. According to Mortez, the police will determine whether Augustine will be facing any criminal charges given his mental condition. I will leave that up to the police department if they so choose to uh, make a charge and um, given his state then I, I, it will be yet to see where he goes from there if, if he'll be refer recommended to a, um, a mental institution or something of that nature. Vigilverse, Love News.